What event is happening there? Uh, um, but someone has then said, sorry Max, I think it's a nice idea to plant the pin in the Wikimedia icon in the middle of the ocean, sort of a coming together thing. And what do you answer? Well, there, is, there are two reasons why we put it in the middle. First of all, because from a design point of view, it's easier when there's a solid color. So, and then the second thing is, if you stick the pin either in the US or Europe, you know, like, why would you stick it there? Because the application is used globally, so we thought, just stick it in the middle, and then nobody is unhappy. Okay, cool. And uh, I, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but there was another, uh, there was a follow-up of someone saying, is the Wikimiki icon showing the Titanic wreck location? That would be funny and geeky. Mm. Mm, is yeah. there any calculation behind it? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Just not it's yet. actually the center of the icon, nearly, like, sort of by pixels, by distance. Okay. So geeks will be disappointed, real geeks will be disappointed. I right? guess. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Um, and, but, yeah, another criticism, the pin for the app icon looks too thick, in my opinion, anyway. That's the n that was the old one, and I agree. Okay. I mean, this is the new one, so. Okay, great. So we can go through some more tweets. There is some technical questions, like, I wonder that um, what uh, Common Guru Live is using as viewing program on the big iPhone screen. I was forbidden to say that by common guru people, I think. Okay. Well, I, I <laughs> think an, a way around it is, uh, um, I think any v uh, VNC client would work, right? To view on the big screen. Oh, to view that? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you... I, I really don't know. I have no idea. So if they don't want to comment on it, we're yeah, not going to comment yeah. on it. I yeah. think uh, Alessio from Common Guru said that like you guys for sure will, f will find out how, but he's not going to tell you, so <laughs> try it. And uh, then someone asks, wonder if the Common Guru live production stuff uh, would be blogging about their experiences. Well, I mean, for now, uh, the iPhone reality show is the Common Guru website, but for sure there will be a um, follow-up after we finish the actual experience. So you will definitely be able to see more stuff about it. Uh, one news, piece of news is that uh, on they just opened an account, a podcast account on iTunes, so you can find all the highlights also on iTunes if you digit Common Guru. Um, here's a thought. With the comments that you post about an event or with a photo, you could have an option to post it on Twitter so that their comment will appear on their Twitter profile. Just a thought. What do you guys think? Well, we, I don't even know if we're doing Twitter integration. In the mockups, you have a, an option to send an event to your Twitter stream. But given the time, I don't know if we're going to be able to implement that. Yeah, but I mean, you, you, can, you can share an event via Twitter. You know, just like, hey, there's this event. And okay. post, post it to your tweet feed. But I mean, as far as, I mean, it might be helpful to post, an, post, a, to put a post that's attached to an event on Twitter. But, but really, the posts are tied to the event. You okay. know what I mean? It's in relation to the event. So if you were just to post that, maybe it wouldn't have the context. And you know. we actually want to engage the user to use the app. So if they want to read posts about an event, yeah, it should not to be, be on Twitter, but to be on the exactly. app. Yeah. Right? But you know, more importantly, it's it's you viewed the event, and those are the posts about that event. It's not just casual conversation like Twitter. Okay. And <coughs> then, well, I forgot to say that we're having like many contacts from like quite far away from where we are in Venice. So today we had a user writing to us from Colombia, and then there was a lot of like typing of like some characters that I don't really understand. I think it was like some Russian thing. I can't, can't go further into that. I don't, I don't know really. And, um, and then someone said, is it sad I'm finding the goat tipping on the website more interesting than say, Common Guru Live itself at the moment? Well, that's very funny. I guess that's why they put the goats in there. And uh, so it was a good idea, design idea. And uh, yeah, work is going like very, I think the guys are a bit worried right now, uh, especially, well, I can see the designer is pretty chilled out. But uh, on the other room, in the other room, there is a bit of tension. I think they want to put things together and to get to a like, end result, more or less. And there are some problems, so I think everything, everybody's pretty nervous. There is not much time to have fun, and like, it's hard work. And then, um, yesterday, our editor, Giulio, uh, the guy who was editing the highlights, opened his, uh, like, started to tweet about like, how the videos should, should have been, if, if you guys liked it or not. 
So we got a lot of uh, feedbacks, quite different from each other. Someone was asking for very long videos. Someone was asking instead for very short videos. So I think Julio will find his way. Let's go say hi to him and say goodbye to the designers. Right. So this is the editing room. We're going to do this, what we're, we're going to do. do this now. Because <laughs> it's yeah. Alessio. And uh, yeah, this is Julio. He's so cool. he's responsible for everything you, you see on the highlights. So now you know his face. You can Thanks. go, yeah. you can come and look for him.